Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Archer. I hope you're enjoying the theme this week of families. I'm actually here with one of my family members. I have Logan. Logan, you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. I want to read one of the books that he actually got from one of the book fairs when he was at Chippewa in preschool. And it is called The Magician's Hat by Malcolm Mitchell. Family Fun Day at the library was filled with exciting events. Book scavenger hunts, storytelling, reading rap rallies. We're going to have a sign, Family Fun Day. We've gone to the library for fun days before. Today, for the first time, a magician arrived with a bag of tricks and a big hat. Everyone gathered around to see the magician perform. He bent a spoon just by looking at it. He made playing cards float in front of his nose. The magician could even make a coin appear from a puppy's ear. When he waved his wand, a banana vanished. This was just the warm-up act. Now the magician was ready to dazzle the crowd with his favorite trick of all. The magician's magic started with a story. When I was a kid, my mom and dad brought me to this library on Family Fun Day. During the book scavenger hunt, I wandered into the reading room. There were hundreds of books books about dogs, books about planes, books about the sun, flowers, rain, cities, and circus dancers. Out of the hundreds of books, one special book jumped out at me. It was a book about magic. I read and read and read every single word on every single page. I discovered that book wasn't just about magic. I learned that books are magic. Even though I was still in the library, those pages and words took me places I had always dreamed of going. This is how I knew I wanted to become a magician when I grew up. Soon after that, I got my magician's hat. The family fun day crowd has grown. had grown. Kids from all over town were eager to see more of the magician's magic. He asked them, what do you want to be when you grow up? Amy shouted, I want to be a dentist. The magician invited Amy to reach inside his hat. Amy dug deep, then deeper until she felt something. It's, it's a book, Amy shouted. The magi magician asked, what is your book about? My book's about teeth, cleaning teeth, and fixing teeth, and x-rays. You think it was magic, Logan? Yeah. Find out. Right away, like magic, Amy saw herself holding dental tools, a toothbrush, and a rinsing cup. But in the library where everyone could see, Amy was hugging her book and smiling. Matt had been watching closely. After see seeing Amy's magic, he wondered, what else is in that hat, he called out. I want to be a famous football player. Think about what you want to be when you grow up. And so the magician offered Matt his hat. Let's see what magic you can find inside. Matt reached in way down. There was something that couldn't fit into just one hand. Matt plunged both hands into the hat and pulled. It's a book about football. It even has my name on it. All at once, like magic, Matt was on the field. Running, tackling, catching, punting, sometimes fumbling, sometimes falling, lots of times winning. Ryan called out from the back of the crowd, wait a second, this is not magic. Amy's and Matt's parents must have told the magician what they want to be when they grow up. The magician asked Ryan, what do you want to be when you grow up? This was Ryan's chance to prove that the magician was a fake. He snickered and said, a dog. Do you think he really wants to be a dog when he grows up? He's trying to trick the magician. The magician asked Ryan to reach into his magical hat. Ryan said, I can't feel anything. Sometimes you must really reach and stretch for what you want to be. That's part of the magic. Ryan reached deeper and deeper until his fingers grabbed onto something. He clutched a beautiful book that had nothing to do with dogs. 
Its pages were filled with letters and paintings and photos and foldouts, stars, planets, rocket ships. What do you think he wants to be when he grows up? I don't an think, alien. I don't think he wants to be a... You think an alien? I don't think he wants to be a dog. Ryan had always dreamed of becoming an astronaut and exploring the wide open, or the wide open sky, hurtling into outer space and zooming to a far off galaxy. Whoa, whispered Ryan. How did you do that? I'm not doing anything, the magician said. You are. I am, asked Ryan, but there's got to be a secret trick to, in those books. The desires that are within you bring out the magic in these books. Follow your dreams and they will take you wherever you want to go. You just got to follow your dreams wherever you want to go or whatever you want to be. The magician turned his hat so everyone could see inside. What are your dreams? That question made all kinds of magic appear. Because they all have dreams of what they want to be. So what do you think, Logan? What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a chicken farmer. A chicken farmer. Does your mom want you to have chickens now? <laughs> no, they smell, I tell them. Well, I enjoyed reading this book with my family since we're spending the week talking about families. Maybe you can enjoy a nice story with your family before heading to bed. I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.